I'm a what? A wizard. Wait, the paperwork actually says lizard. <laughs> You're a lizard, Harry. <laughs> I brought you some flat. This is so stupid. <laughs> Hit the intro music again. <laughs> That's not how we're going to start. That's not how we're doing this. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was so stupid. Welcome, everybody, to the Hangover Podcast. I am your host, Trey, a.k.a. Walter White, a.k.a. I am already over Mardi Gras traffic. Absolutely. fucking I had my first one the other day. What? Trying to fucking, I had something I had to do for work. Mm-hmm. I was on one side of the city, had to get to the other side of the city. I was actually on my way home, and I was like, I'll stop off and just go do that before I head out. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I literally got on the off ramp, looked, and went right back on the on <laughs> I ain't doing this shit with I y'all. I said you backed up the off ramp. No, I, w- I wish. <laughs> That'd have probably been his best move. <laughs> For real. Sitting across from me, as always, is Take Off Music's very own Mr. T R T L. Sitting to his right, we have the never on time but always sexy. We have the wears sunglasses no matter what building he's in or what time of day it is. We we have the oh, I want to be a tattoo guy. So I'm gonna just get a bunch of random tattoos. Skeet, yeah. I'm sorry, skeet. Oh, Ski- yeah. <laughs> sorry. We have the 12th man talk himself, Mr. Average Joe. Niggardly. <laughs> That's going to go on a shirt next one. <laughs> Niggardly. Sitting to his right. <sighs> the beautiful, the uh, always angry, the uh, oh yeah, you are supposed to wash the dishes before you put them in the dishwasher. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but that's the way life goes. You're supposed to rinse them, not wash them. The illustrious Miss Nikki P. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Scott considers rinsing washing, by the way. Yeah, because he's a fucking dirtbag. How about you just don't do them, bro? That's not, not <laughs> that's, a chore. That's the fact, son. I ain't doing nothing in this house. Don't you fucking say it. Don't you. Say See, it. we just got a dishwasher at the crib, and I know that's going to be the argument at the house next. Which is Why is the fucking sink still full? We have a dishwasher. <laughs> Nigga, I'm about to steal by plastic. Fuck that shit. When y'all go to arguing in that bitch, I'm just going to look at y'all. With my, pa- With my paper plate. With my paper plate. <laughs> Crush that bitch up and shit. They already argue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting on the fight. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this week, uh, alcoholic-wise, we are drinking... Motherfucking Crown Royal Lemonade. Oh, it's it it's brought to you by... The motherfuckers who refuse to sponsor us. <laughs> we keep trying y'all shit and you just refuse. Just give us fucking sponsorship. Don't want know. In the nicest way possible. So this is more confusing than anything else because uh, I remember when they first started coming out with the pre-mixed drinks, they came out with what? They came out with the apple, they came out with the, the peach, the and they came out with the Coke. Yeah. And then they go out with the whiskey lemonade, which is weird to me because I don't drink whiskey with lemonade. I don't know either. Who the fuck does? That's what that was my thought. Like, is this supposed to be like a whiskey sour? It's probably banging though. Let's find out. Cause lemonade's fire. Turtle already tried it, huh? Boom. Yeah, huh? he did. No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's so good. That is pretty refreshing. <laughs> if I do say so myself, that is pretty refreshing. Nah, it is pretty good. It's very lemony for sure it's very not as a, it's it's not more of a tart lemonade yeah, than I a taste, sweet lemonade. I taste no crown but i don't think you could do like a sweet lemonade with this and i get what they're trying Damn to man. do with the uh I'm Damn, gonna... so why your can look different uh, i saw one at the bottom it like it had some green shit on it does it look different yeah. oh wow yeah it does. is a totally different it's a completely different can oh well you must wow. have grabbed the limited edition one <laughs> but they uh, won some shit actually <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, no, this can has it too. So, like, the you want to know? Yeah, don't say. Lim- oh no, limited time off. Yeah. Oh wow, probably won some shit. Wow, you want to know what is throwing me it's off? Very creative, Crown. About the <laughs> entire, the one thing that's throwing me off about this entire situation is the texture of the can. Yeah, 
because I keep putting my lip oh, to all, it. Oh, they're all okay. Gritty. Yeah, it all they're all different. Oh, I wonder if there's like oh. four different kinds in each box. Probably. Mm. Probably. It's probably. But yeah, I don't like the way that the can feels on my bottom lip when I take a sip. Who the fuck had Crown thought of that? Mm. Let's make all the cans different. <laughs> Nigga with OCD who couldn't decide on the design. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw them all in there. <laughs> Meet in the jar. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Get the fuck out. All right. Do we have top fans? Top fans. Top fans. All they want to do is party all night. God damn. Top <laughs> fans. <laughs> Never get to love you, but it's all right. Uh, <laughs> Motherfucker sitting here for the rest of the show. Top fans. Top fans. That shit happened to me last week. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> all right. So for... Ooh. 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 Make him fight. Make him fight. So for one year, Mr. Larry Frederick. That's it? And Mr. Devin Whitmore. Oh. For one year. And then for seven months, we have Sean Mulligan. And then for one month, we nice. have Mr. Jonathan Gaspar. Jenkins. And then as a package deal, we have the motherfucking degenerates. For eight months, Swamp Thing. For three months, Obi Wan. And for one week, Tiny. I already did this. Oh, I was going to let you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe we have an ad this week. We do? <laughs> <laughs> we do? Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, I didn't know that was starting this week. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll I have an ad for you next week. <laughs> I didn't know that was starting this week. <laughs> you ain't tell me nothing about it. You, you just mentioned you, that one thing. You were like, I want to do the ad. All right, we'll just write the script for it. You got it. Hey, we got we got an ad this week? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are we adding? What are we adding? <laughs> Somebody here? <laughs> <laughs> we got a special guest? All right, so one thing that we did do was we finally got some voicemails. Hey, oh. Yo, wow. We're going to find out. Uh, I don't feel like they're that wild. Can you... <laughs> it's just a voicemail. <laughs> it's not like we was like, yo, you get this voicemail done, we give you a bunch of cocaine. Can I... Uh, <laughs> oh, That's can you wild. Bluetooth me? <laughs> Have y'all listened to them already? Mm-mm. I listen to them. Turn the Bluetooth up. Yeah. The Your roadcaster is now discoverable. I'm discovering you. Discover me, baby. While we're doing this, how was everybody's week? Tiring. Yeah, I can say that for damn sure. This week was fucking exhausting, yo. We got busy as hell because of Mardi Gras. Yeah, I fucking yeah. bet. Yeah. Everybody wants to drop that Mardi Gras theme song. The best thing I had was like fucking coming in and everybody being like, oh, yeah, I'm coming to I'm trying to rent some speakers. And we ain't got none. <laughs> I love telling people that because that means I ain't have to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I do have a weird random uh, thing that happened to me this week. Uh, found out on Monday... I uh, had an egg in my tire. Oof. Nicole can tell you, I have the worst luck with tires. I always have holes. I always have a flat one. Now, apparently, my tires are chickens. If you ever ride in a car with him, <laughs> he likes to treat potholes like they're just like another. <laughs> like it's just street. Yeah, like it's just street. <laughs> like, oh, I wonder how deep that is. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Keeps hey, have, driving. Have you ever done the thing where you see a pothole and it's too late? You try to like bunny hop your car. Oh, you <laughs> no, wait. Put the camera on me. I'm the guy that'll see a pothole come in at the last second, and then I go. <laughs> <laughs> like somehow that's gonna make it better. <laughs> Gotta use oh, the force shit. in the pothole. <laughs> like this. Let this be the moment my telekinetic abilities kick in. Uh but. I'm like so, that with turns. Like, the nigga who be missing turns, I'm not going to miss that turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take this bitch at 50 if I need to. <laughs> and I, nigga, oh, I drop a Chevy pickup, nigga. You know how dangerous that is. <laughs> so I noticed the egg in the tire, and uh, I remember hearing horror stories, and so I Googled it to make sure I wasn't tripping. And they were like, yeah, having an egg in your tire is one of the most dangerous things you can have. Because that bitch could pop at any second while you're doing 70 on fucking I-10. And now your 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 tire went from working to... <laughs> Nigga, that was us during scraping that year. Yeah, yeah. we almost died. Yes. Uh, so uh, I ended up calling one of the tire shops near here. And I uh, was just like, you know, trying to... You know, this is the kind of tire that I got. Do y'all have any in stock? 
You know you're going to a great tire shop or a great business when you call and when they answer, they go, hello? <laughs> I'm like, did I call somebody's cell phone? Like, <laughs> you know, I'm never, I'm never a stickler for like professionalism, but it's still just like, I'm like, hello, is this uh, the tire shop? Yeah. It's not like he on his couch. <laughs> 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 you watching a movie and shit, right? Like, bro, like, hand in his pants. Hello, can I help you? Like, come on, bro. Yes, move it man. the fuck along. So then, finally, I'm just like, yeah. So uh, I need, to, I got an egg in my tire. I need a new tire. You know, whatever, whatever. And the guy was like, what kind is it? So I told him, and I was like, yeah, do y'all have those? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be there after work. Y'all close at uh, five thirty. I see six. <laughs> All right. Even better. <laughs> I'll be there. So I pull up, and it, the first of all, place looked abandoned. Mm-hmm. Strike one. So I pull in, and I'm just looking around, I'm like, is this place even fucking open? So like, I call the place back, and the guy goes, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love this dude. <laughs> and then I know where I'm just like, yeah, is this still the tire shop? He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, are y'all open? And he was like, yeah. Is that you that just pulled in the bucket? I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. So the guy comes out, and he's just like, which one? I went uh driver left, uh, front 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 driver side. He goes, okay. <laughs> he walks over there. He just starts cranking. I'm like, not talking, not saying fucking anything. He just starts cranking it up. Takes the tire off, fucks off. I'm sitting there like, this is going great. Bet you this place got five stars on Yelp, man. Like, <laughs> and then finally, dude comes walking back out. It's like not five minutes, walking back out with the new tire. Zip 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 zip. You're good to go. Awesome. Who do I pay? Me. <laughs> 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 all right. And I'm, I pull my wallet out and I'm just like, all right. And I go and I grab my card and he goes, oh, no, 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 no. He's like cash only. I'm like, Fuck. I'm like, y'all got an ATM anywhere around? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. ATM down there at the corner store. I said, okay, cool. I leave. I'm not going to, I'm not paying a $4 fucking ATM fee. I see Walgreens. Right. Boom. Cash back, baby. Right. Drive on down, pull in. As I'm standing there in line, I'm just sitting there thinking to myself. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Should drive the fuck out of here. <laughs> I ain't coming back to this bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? What are you let me what? leave? You gotta skate it. What? I didn't have to leave nothing. Up. I didn't have to. He ain't take my info. <laughs> nothing. He ain't take my ID. He ain't take my license plate number, bitch. I got a tire. <laughs> got me fucked up. Keep that in mind. Mm-hmm. So finally, I'm sitting there, I'm in line, and I'm just like, you know what, man? Like, I ain't, I ain't going to do that bad energy. I'm like, this man, you know, this man runs a business. I'm not going to be that piece of shit. And then you never know. One day in the future, I might need another one, you know, whatever the case may be. This was actually pretty cheap and quick. So I might not want to, you know, not be able to come back here. Uh, whatever, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'll go back. So I'll go in, I pull up, hop out, got the 40. It took him almost 10 minutes just to come outside. <laughs> We now, now I'm double thinking like I'm just going to fucking leave. He finally comes out and he goes, oh, all right. And I'm handing him the money. As I'm handing him the money, somebody's calling me. And at the same time, hand him the money, answer the phone. Hello. I go, hey, thank you, bro. And he goes, thank you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I paused before I got in the car. I didn't tell him my fucking name. <laughs> He, he did that. He, he did that shit just in case. Like, about, you know, just know I knew. <laughs> just know I knew. I told Nicole the story, and she goes, "Wait, so who was he? I have no fucking idea." <laughs> Random little Israeli man just hanging out at his tire shop. Came, pulled up on you, blew your shit up. Like, <laughs> Over oh, forty bucks. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say. I don't know if I'm going back over there. Go to one of my West Jeff. He makes me nervous. Why would I do that? Because that's the one I always go yeah. to. Yeah. They, they, they all, yeah. They always have your nice tire. Nice to the point. It's always a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> if, any, if anything's like wrong with him, like they'll tell you like if you need to rotate your shit, like they, oh, okay. they give you free air the whole nine. Yeah. Oh, they'll okay. adjust your pressure and all of that yeah. shit for you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll definitely keep them in mind. Yeah. Well, anyway, so this past week we put it out there again because it was brought to our attention that our voicemail was not working. So uh, on our new website hangoverpod.com head on over there and you can leave us a voicemail you can see all of our stuff and I think Turtle wants to let everybody know what oh my god (laughs) 0 for 2 what what do we got coming to the website 
Oh, merch, man. We got motherfucking merch. Mer- 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 merch. On its way. Biatch. We got four pages of that shit, so y'all, y'all get y'all pocketbooks ready, nigga. Y'all gonna find something sexy. You're like, yeah, yeah, man. So y'all let us know what y'all like to see too, because I can't think of everything. Scott can't think of everything. We try Joe not can't to make think Joe of anything. think of anything. <laughs> I had we definitely try classic. not to make think Nikki think of anything. She got the baby brain, so we don't try. <laughs> and she mean as fuck. <laughs> she be in that bitch. Yeah, we need fifty different onesies. <laughs> <laughs> One, onesies and bibs. One for each. Week. <laughs> Stupid. We Dummy need pants. one that says I'm worse than a hangover. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out. I'm still trying to figure out to get the fuck out of my house. Uh, design. How, how and we gonna the, go about the this? Mother tequila design. I, I'm still still working on that. Any ideas on that, y'all? Y'all let, let me know. Let's know. You should like. Ha- you should have like a, a little party purse on that, throwing like a bottle of tequila. I was trying to shirt. think of like a way that I can animate you nursing a bottle of tequila, but <laughs> that would that be out. awesome. That's, that's, <laughs> It's a toughie. <laughs> <laughs> Work in progress. Work in progress. So uh, our first, oh, Lord have mercy. Our first <laughs> voicemail is from Lolo, oh. the artist formerly known as T from the Toxicity podcast. What? What are y'all looking at? The like artist that? formerly known as T. Yeah, because, like, you know, you got Zoe. She's the tox because she's uh, the toxic one. Sis is Jason because he's a <laughs> sissy. <laughs> And then, <laughs> I'll take one from everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Pew, 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 pew. And that broad said she hit the gunshots on the show. <laughs> Say hey, <buku> <laughs> Or not. So, uh, so our first uh, voicemail officially is from Lolo. So let's see what she had to say to the brand. What's up? What's up, bitches? It's Lauren, yeah, it a.k.a. Is. Lolo. Yep. Love you guys. Just wanted to say hello because you guys keep posting this on your Instagram story. And uh, so I figured you guys want somebody to use this feature, so I'm going to do it for you. Love y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and give it up for the worst voicemail that we could have ever had. <laughs> Move this yes. man! Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, for the love you. most love pointless you. fucking voice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all Wait. just keep posting this shit, so hey, here I am. Here we I am. We appreciate the love, I guess. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we love you, too. And, uh, yeah. So, uh... Now, next week, you can come back with some fucking heat watch. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Next week, <laughs> bitch-ass niggas have something to say. <laughs> here go my freestyle. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Artist formerly known, toxicity. <laughs> Like, why does she sound like Big Daddy Kane? You just be pitching voices on everybody. It's gonna be like, "Fuck your co-host in the bitch you claim." <laughs> <laughs> in the pod you claim. In the pod you claim. <laughs> All right, so our oh Jesus Christ, put the, make sure the make sure the cameras on, Nikki. Our it's next, our, well, our wait, next. Spencer resident. <laughs> Prop and zoom, Nikki's face. Our, <laughs> our second and cool. last uh, voicemail of this week is from Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you rock! I can't wait to see uh, the. All right, five dollars out the gate. <laughs> Is it like way Go too ahead. close from? Oh god! No, it's fine. <laughs> no, you know it's not. So uh, I already know whatever this is. I just have a really bad feeling. This is about to be political. I'm, I'll put five dollars on. I put five dollars on. It's gonna be some. Well, I don't know. I was gonna say it's probably gonna be something sexist as fuck, but <laughs> he's gonna be like Nikki. Nikki, don't be mad at me. Yeah. Oh lord! All right, here it comes. How do you guys feel uh, about Biden starting World War Three and not Trump? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my money. I will take my to be, money. No, no, you did say you you listened to him already. Shut up. Receipts. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. How do you guys feel about Biden starting World War Three and not Trump? See, Spencer, this is where you get life and bullshit fucked up. Uh, you're asking the wrong people. <laughs> the fa- <laughs> Hello to you too, by the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Spencer. Uh, the fact that you're like, oh, let's see what these geniuses have to do. These political commentators. Right. Uh, you want to know what I've been doing for the past week ever, ever since I heard all this bullshit started? I have been going over in my head all of the different hilarious scenarios about them stealing Chernobyl. 
I've been, I've been playing a lot more Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> Getting ready? <laughs> I try to get my KDR up. You know I delete man? that shit off my PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> try to let these niggas know how elite I am. <laughs> I am lethal with this. <laughs> no, because I mean, to be honest, like when I first heard the whole thing uh, You're on happening. the first sniper playing out this bitch. <laughs> no, because I don't, like, I'm politically ignorant. I don't know shit about shit. I just, I, well, like, when I first heard about the whole shit with Russia and Ukraine, my fir- my, my none of my fr- top ten thoughts had anything to do with the president. Uh, Biden. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take that back. I'm actually lying because this is one of the first times that I thought to myself, you know what? I was listening to a podcast and I'm like, this makes a whole lot of sense. People were like, you know what? Biden is the worst person that we can have in this situation. Whenever you have a a world war brewing, you need a psychopath. And I feel like Trump would have been that guy (laughs) just to be like, oh, so this is what I already pushed the button twice. (laughs) I've already pushed the button. What Russia, bitch? What (laughs) Russia? Like uh, like Andrew Schultz even said, he's like, in a time of war, you want the president that's like, bro, you didn't have to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking Putin would have been mid-speech and it would have been like a rocket just coming in in the background like, hey, what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> With a gold wig on that bitch. <laughs> Like Trump, what, Trump, what are you gonna do? Nigga, I pushed the button last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> are you guys enjoying your whiskeys? <laughs> <laughs> They're poison. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like you think about Japan. <laughs> no more vodka. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you think about Japan. World War Two. They dropped two of them fucking things on yep. Japan. <laughs> yep. It's not funny. It's it was not, a big one and a little one. It's not funny. They dropped they, the big one and the little ones were like, ah, eh, just to make sure. They, they dropped it. <laughs> they dropped it on that fucking country. And then everybody and their mother was just like, all right, yo, whoa. All right, <laughs> let's fucking reel it in, all right? And then, and then I forgot who was president at the I don't fucking remember. It doesn't matter. So he's sitting there and he's just sitting there at the desk and everybody's like, Mr. President, <laughs> you can probably relax now. And he went, I haven't seen one white flag. Drop another one. So do you guys <laughs> do you guys surrender? And then they just went, you know what? If we come together as a drop another one. <laughs> That's not what I asked. Boom. It was a yes or no question, bitch. <laughs> Click. And then after that second one, everybody <laughs> white flags everywhere. Looks <laughs> pulling out the underwear, bruh. Bruh. We teach Nicole, why are you looking at me like that? We teach all the white men how to make a sushi. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I still believe in my heart that those Japanese people at them restaurants are just making shit. And it's just like, the white people will eat it. <laughs> Absolutely. Nigga, ain't no po' boy roll in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck out of here. A bye-bye Katrina roll. <laughs> it's from Nagasaki. <laughs> mm-hmm. nah, I, mean, I mean, I've been thinking about it, but it's all been jokes and shit like that. Like, how I say, like, if I get captured, you know what I'm saying? I am selling out the U.S. Like, <laughs> you better get it. First, nigga, first name I'm dropping is Drake. <laughs> don't make them think he he's Canadian. The he's just gonna go back to his country and be all right. <laughs> they ain't gonna fuck with the Canadians. Canadians don't do shit. <laughs> Who they nice. got? Justin Bieber and Drake. That's the hardest Ryan nigga Reynolds. from Canada. Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah, I forgot Ryan Reynolds yeah, was Ryan Canadian. Reynolds. Drake, you just been one up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. How do you feel? It's fucked up, eh? <laughs> I'm not commenting. Come on. <laughs> on the war? Uh, yeah. How come the war? Don't forget, Nikki, it's a comedy show. People expect what we say to be bullshit. Oh, no. <laughs> so even if you're honest, they won't believe you. <laughs> True that. No, I've just been going over. Uh, like, Did y'all ever watch Chernobyl? Yes. Y'all watch the HBO? Yes. Nicole refuses. I watched no, the, I tried. I, I watched the, the movie and the HBO thing. No, the, the movie was bullshit. <laughs> the movie was <laughs> bullshit, but it was still good. <laughs> but the fucking, um, yeah, there's still people living in Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are still people. No, 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 no. <laughs> Evil people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck makes potatoes <laughs> when it's covered in radiation? I don't know. So, you got <laughs> I swear to God, I read a fucking article about, and I've emailed these people <laughs> because they make a vodka in Chernobyl made yep. from the corn from, from Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Yep. And I emailed them <laughs> and I was radiation. like, yo, I'm going to need one of them. <laughs> something the tells me. Hit that bitch with the Geiger meter. Like, oh, <laughs> <let> me. <laughs> something, something tells me I'm not getting an email back anytime soon. Um, <laughs> Our new sponsor. <laughs> 
Uh, Chernobyl corn vodka. But look, all right. So in all seriousness, <laughs> you not gonna start with ice. So boom. <laughs> Literally. No, Literally. <laughs> Literally. All right, so boom. <laughs> I'm not fucking doing this. What's the topic? <laughs> you didn't catch that? You're <laughs> talking about Chernobyl? <laughs> All right, so boom. <laughs> Oh fuck, Nicole, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's lost it. She's lost it. <laughs> she's sitting there rethinking everything. Like if I if I try hard enough, I think I could have him out by Thursday. <laughs> oh so, shit! Damn. But no, honestly, and like in all in all seriousness, I I know I know for the people watching this right now, going their pieces is shit. I know it's a horrible thing. But I don't know about anything, and when I get uncomfortable about situations, I make jokes. <laughs> jokes right. That's what I do. All trauma. I don't Stupid. know. I don't know what to do. Uh, and then also, I know, like for the people that are already have their fucking like fi- like their thumbs just fuck, just ready to go. Oh yeah. I know they took Chernobyl for a real reason. Right. I know there was military strategy behind the reason that they decided to take Chernobyl. But. Thinking about it from a cartoon perspective, <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Just imagine, like, because obviously Russia knows what Chernobyl is. Absolutely. And like somebody even said, they were like, oh, "Just so y'all know, we're not completely stupid." Like somebody said, part of the reason that they might have taken it was because that there's no people in there, and it's a one way shot to the capital, so they can easily get through almost without any pushback access to the capital of Ukraine. Makes sense, but that's not fun. No, I love the idea that the guards standing in front of Chernobyl were just looking around, wondering what they were going to do. That did you, did you watch the tender summit there? Yeah, I saw that shit. I saw that shit. No, nah, no way. Hey, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guns ground now. Who are you? <laughs> we're Russians, and we're here to take Chernobyl, or we're here to take this city, bro. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a city in Ukraine, and we need it. Invasion. Drop your weapons, or you're... no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Look, look, look. Just to show, show a good faith. Eh, there goes my rifle. I, <laughs> you got nothing, bro. Look, <laughs> do you know what you're doing? <laughs> we know what we're doing. There's something in there, and we're taking it. Yeah, yeah, there is. Uh, you know what? Enjoy, enjoy. Go ahead, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> Come on, right. y'all going through? Y'all going through? Enough of this shit. And then, guys, <laughs> and then, like the whole time, like the the commanders in the background, just like, yeah, you know, what we're gonna do the first thing. We're, we're gonna have them take Chernobyl. It's a small city. No one's in there. I, we 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 flew the uh, UAV over it last night. <laughs> that's that's how far my knowledge goes. We flew a UAV over it last night. Almost no heat signals. So there's almost nobody in there. Send them in. Great morale boost for the troops. They take a city. They take a city. (laughs) Or they take a titty. And the next thing you know, they're ready to fucking invade Ukraine for real. This is a good practice run. You feel me? And somebody's sitting there like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great fucking idea. It's a great fucking idea. Yeah, tell them shit. What's it called? Chernobyl? Yeah, tell them go take that shit. Let's do it. Now half his army melted. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> he gets back over there and he's like oh my god how many casualties did we have <laughs> it's just like sir <laughs> president of Ukraine's just standing at the forest tower of Chernobyl like we win again <laughs> <laughs> cause like you gotta remember there were literally animals beating their heads against telephone poles trying to kill themselves because of the radiation. And you think they're going to fight you to keep this fucking... They don't even want this fucking place. Have at it, bucko. <laughs> I'm locking the chains on the fences and shit for them. Like, I got it for you, play. Go ahead, go ahead. Somebody cut this. Somebody cut the chain off the fence. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. Look, I got the key. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's it. Like I said, I know it's... I know there was an actual reason that they took Chernobyl. I just don't fucking know. So I'm thinking about it from a cartoon's perspective of all of their guys just running through Ukraine like, we fucking did it, guy. My skin hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what's going on here. What's under the fucking dome? 
Open it. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> did y'all see the video of like the uh, Ukraine soldiers telling the you Russians goddamn soldiers, right go I did. fuck yourself? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> First of all, we're not even gonna laugh at that. Yep. Salute you, motherfuckers, man. Absolutely. That Salute to the fucking Ukraine for changing all of their street signs to say go fuck yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So This is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah, uh <laughs> Warship. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> All right, so boom. <laughs> Straight up. But that's that, there you go, Spencer. I don't know if that answers your question. Uh, but yeah, I think we answered it. That's yep. about as far as my. How do I feel about Biden start? Did did he start World War Three? No, I don't know how he had anything. We're not to involved do. in that shit yet. We see a bunch of niggas with some MREs. That's it. <laughs> they ain't actually put troops on the ground, like actual fighter troops. I don't know shit in, from America. We uh. put. Aid out there for the fucking uh, to help out with the NATO shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit. Fuck it, fuck. And, and even fuck still, him. didn't Putin start it? That's what yes. I thought. Yeah, yeah. Putin, Putin invaded fucking the Ukraine. Yeah, he started. Putin Is this went one of those? Putin out his ass and was like, "I'm going to Ukraine." <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> he finished that one bottle and he was just like, "That was some good shit." shit. How good was it, Putin? It was so good. We're going to take Ukraine. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to start with Chernobyl. What the fuck are they hiding in there? Meanwhile, just, nigga in the back like, I should have never put a Red Bull in this. <laughs> I, just ima- drink. I just imagine, because I know they said like one part of like the uh, the reactor like fell through because like they got a bunch of underground shit too. Mm-hmm. And I heard a, like a big piece of it just fucking fell all the way. And they call it the elephant's foot. And they literally say, if you ever see this thing in person, you will die in a half hour. It's so radioactive and so big that if you get too close to it, you're going to die within a certain amount of time. And I just imagine them guys just being like, oh, look, underground tunnel. <laughs> Let's go. See. You All right. No matter what. We can like, catch him on the flank if we just go through the tunnel. Out of all the bullshit I'm spitting right now. Out of all the bullshit I'm spitting right now, you have to know. That at least one person, like we, y'all, y'all know the military. We have army, we have marine. Y'all all have that one cousin that was in the marines or was in the army, and you're like, you were in the army. You're too fucking stupid. They have one of those in the in the Russian army too. I <laughs> promise you. And one of them walked up, saw a sign with like a whole bunch of X's and do not enters in another language, and he was just like, fucking Ukraine. Trying to trick us. Trying to hide some shit. <laughs> trying to trick us. Man, let's go in there, dog. Man, fuck that. Come on. Me and you. Dude was like, I don't know, son. I don't know. Nah, come on. Fuck that. Open the fucking door. They start walking down the stairs. <laughs> getting further. It's getting hot in here. Whew. Then by the time they get to the bottom, why is my skin falling off my arms? <laughs> <laughs> Starts blinking out of the back of his head. Like, wait, hold up. <laughs> he did the heroin, bro. <laughs> When some captain comes walking onto the field, what is, this, what is this? Oh, I don't know, Cap. I think they might have found some drugs or something because all of them are just rolling around seizuring. <laughs> 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 yeah. There you go. There's our political statement. That's what I think. That's what I think happened. That's it. I find it hilarious that they took Chernobyl. I know it's not funny, but the ideas that I got <laughs> after they did it are what's hilarious to me. And I find myself funny. What do you think, Nicole? I agree that it's the funny part that the stories that you've been saying the past several days. <laughs> we'll just be driving. I'll just look over at her. So Chernobyl. And she's like, Scott, please shut up. <laughs> Put your fucking guns down. No problem. <laughs> you got it. Go on in, baby. Next thing you know, one of their guys is like growing another arm. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> All right. What the fuck else is going on this week? Victoria's Secret has Down syndrome? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know what this is. That's we're not, not what the article says, Scott. And we're, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just remembered what it was. And I just remembered that we're not doing this. What did you say you was going to do? I think we... <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to mute you. <clears throat> I think we should because there's also a young lady from um, New Orleans who's like a brand ambassador for a brand who has Downs, and she's mm-hmm. the one who actually gets the most responses from the brand as their model. Like you know, the everybody 
clicks on her pictures and shops from her picture links and all of that things and like that. And uh, I think that's dope. Yeah, that's, that's sick as fuck. Actually, dope. shout out to Victoria's Secret, man. Yeah, I'm, well, that's that's. A well, no, I'm talking thing. about like just the accept that's overall acceptance. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. <clears throat> but uh, I mean, thoughts? I think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Acceptance. Yay. How about you, Joe? That's fine. <laughs> not doing this. Not doing this. Hey, that was just, bro. I, that other bro is hot though. Was he? Yeah. 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 yeah no. Nah, sure. yeah. What you call it? She definitely. Are you allowed hit. to say somebody with Down she, syndrome? Talk? I don't. Hey, I, I'm pretty I, sure you can. I just, I'm pretty sure you can. I, th- I think it's a compliment. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's. I'm pretty sure there's another uh, a male with Down syndrome out there. Like, oh, she's fucking Second. hot. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, that shit Touching is cool. No, nah, she's definitely like what you would picture a Victoria's Secret model. She just has downs. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I just uh I don't mind that. I'm all I'm all for acceptance. I'm all for, you know, them broadening the the definition of what a model is. <laughs> Nicole just threw her phone in anger. I'm just trying I to do <laughs> not accept this shit because they didn't take me first. <laughs> Checking out the merch. What about a pregnant Victoria's Secret model, huh? <laughs> I feel like they've had those. But um no, nah, I don't know. The the only one that ever uh bothered me was um Actually, you know what? I'm not doing this. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no, the only one uh it. It. what was the girl's name? The plus size Victoria's Secret model? All of them? Mm, what? <laughs> I don't know. You said <laughs> all of them? No, sir. Ninety nine percent of them are too skinny. <laughs> No, they had the one that did the no, plus I'm size. I, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's been more than one. That's what I meant by that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, they had the one that was really Ashley Graham. Ashley Graham. Sure. She was really hot. I don't know who it is. Uh, look her up. But she was uh, one of the Victoria's Secret models. I won't, but I'll think about it. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the only reason she bothered me was because she got really famous for being one of the angels for Victoria's Secret, and uh, she was big. Yeah. And she was still hot, but okay. she was big. Okay. Okay. And then I'm very surprised her doesn't know who she is. Show him. Who is it? Ooh, oh, oh wow! Turn that down. <laughs> Have you ever still not for me? <laughs> Doesn't ring a bell. That's interesting. I don't know that broad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <know> bro. <laughs> <laughs> I miss your body. Still not for me. She's hot though. I have no plus size. Yeah, I'm about to say you can't call that plus size. That's no, like, but you can. I what I like. <laughs> That's what I like size. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh she was in what was it, fitness? Like uh one of those like really big fitness, fitness mags. Oh Jesus. She wasn't, <laughs> wasn't she on the cover of the fitness magazine? <laughs> That's so disrespectful. <laughs> Um, Respectfully, but, <laughs> <laughs> but she was on the cover of Fitness, like one of the big fitness magazines. She was, she was on the cover, and I had a little bit of an issue with that, just because I always wondered, like, how did somebody who is plus like size plus size get the cover of Fitness? I mean, technically, she is a fit plus size. Yeah. Yeah. Now. But still, he now, should, like, that, even that picture, yeah. though, that Nikki just showed us, that looked like it was a pretty old picture. I mean, it could be either way. It was just one of them things where it was like. She's she, never been fat. Fat. She got pregnant and was no, pregnant. Don't do that. She was. Don't do me she, that. She was really fat pregnant. I know, but don't 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 well, don't make it sound like I'm like, oh, yeah, the pregnant one. No, I didn't mean <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we I were just looking at pictures. I get what you're saying. Like, you know, if you're on a cover of fitness. Okay, but just because you're not like a size zero doesn't mean you're not in shape. I don't mean just because you're size zero means you're in shape. Or what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean just because <laughs> you're not a size zero doesn't mean you're in shape. I mean like she was. Most size zeros aren't in shape. They're just. Scott, your robot this long right now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you said that was fat and she shouldn't have been on this. <laughs> Oh man! Way, way too many chicken wings to be on the cover of Fitness Magazine. <laughs> <I'm ready to laughs> <go. laughs> and my favorite was she used to do like videos and that, everything. There else. you go. That's oh, a before Lord. and a. I mean, that's, she's still hot. That's the one I was on the cover. No, she shouldn't have been on that. Yeah, yeah. If the one on the left. Let me see. I'm pretty sure it was yeah, after. Yeah. Let me make sure. I know her face. 
I mean, if they were yeah, trying to say her. she was fit for a no, big girl, saying, then yeah. They're not saying I, that's say not that. her. Oh, if that was her, she shouldn't have been on the cover of fitness? If that was her before when she was... Uh, let me find that. Yeah, cover. Whatever. But we're not going to be the guys that they pinpoint out to say that dude we don't like big girls. We like big girls. Love big girls. Big girls is is comes in all different shapes and sizes. But let me tell you, there is a difference between a fit big girl and not a fit big girl, and a fat big girl. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean that that was my only gripe. That's facts, though. I don't give a shit. I didn't give a shit that she was an angel. I didn't give a shit that she was in Victoria's Secret. I didn't give a shit that she was a plus size model. I didn't give a shit right. that she wore was lingerie and all this other stuff. I think so, yeah. Sports Illustrated or some shit like that. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and that's when it just kind of became. Thick. She did thick. That's it. Yeah. Loved it. That's P H A T, baby. Fat, pretty hot, and tempted. <laughs> I just didn't that's know. Like she didn't catch me. <laughs> she definitely <laughs> <laughs> Jumping on fucking that's my little ass. What? <laughs> Homie, bae. <laughs> Carry me off into the sunset. <laughs> Niggas be like, look at that nigga getting held by this bad. I'll be like, yeah, but you ain't got her. Yep. <laughs> Come on, they get my big bitch beat you up. <laughs> she, she I'd like, be that dude. Look, like, you a while holding me, nigga. I'd be, I'm on my back, like, yeah, babe, whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a punch. <laughs> Fuck ass, nigga. Show you better. Hit him, babe. <laughs> Stick my big punch on you. Put me down. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Kicking your feet and shit. Put me down. Fuck this nigga up. Whoop his ass. <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, but yeah, I mean, anyway, Victoria's Secret model with Down syndrome. I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, <clears throat> what a model is meant to be is somebody like at least for Victoria's Secret, they're meant to show off a clothing line mm-hmm. and how that clothing line. You're you're supposed to be able to look at somebody and go, oh. I want to wear this. This is what it could look like on me. As long as she's doing her fucking job, I don't give a shit what, what she has. Mm-hmm. It's like any anything else in life. She could be up there fucking bipolar with Tourette's. Don't care. Don't give a shit. Just long, do your fucking job. As long as the clothes look nice. That's it. As long that's as the titties still look like titties in the bra. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's going to be a weird one for teenage boys to jerk off to when their mom gets the Victoria's Secret magazine. Oh my be. goodness gracious. What do you think 90% of Victoria's Secret magazines <laughs> are for, dear? Because you think you got to think about it. We're not looking at the face when we jack off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That, that's more so with that comment. If anything, they'll just uh, fold the page. Like, <laughs> make it to make them not feel bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? It's not funny. I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> Take the marker. <laughs> Just got a little tear at the top of the page. Shh. You cuff that bitch. Look. Take it down. What you looking at, babe? I am trying to not judge y'all. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, and, and you was right too. Like about the the smirk I had on my face when I sent it to the group. No, I know. I had it. I know you did. So as, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All I see is Victoria, new Victoria's Secret model has Down syndrome, and Joe sent it, and I went, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Turtle has had to mute his mic on more than one occasion and not get us in trouble. <laughs> Son of a bitch. But anyway. Can we taste this Coca-Cola before it gets started? Yes. Yeah, so while I was out the other night, I was looking around. Don't you dare, Turtle. <laughs> you, already did with, you already did us with the whiskey. I didn't pay for it. Can I drink it? Yes. No. This one you can because I bought it for us. Yeah. So I went out and I saw they had Starlight Limited Edition uh, Coca-Cola. I think that's how they should do the, uh, the theme song. And I don't know what it is, but it says that it's space flavored. So I wanted to play a game with everybody, see if we could figure out. Brought to you by Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. See what the oh, uh, niggas went, niggas went captured the fucking taste of the fucking Milky Way and put it in a Coke. All right, so Coca Cola Starlight, <laughs> salute, fellas. Jesus Christ, Joe! What? He just took a big sip. Of course he did. <laughs> Tastes like flat Coke. I don't like it. Oh, wait, no, it's cotton candy, fam. Tastes like they put cookies in my Coke. No, it tastes like them sugar cookies. You know what I'm talking about? The gluten-free joints? No. The ones with the icing. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. I don't taste none of that. That shit tastes like the shit from fucking the, the cookies you get from Walmart. It do. Like if it, was the, like, if it was the actual cookies from Walmart, I wouldn't mind, but I don't want it in a Coke. <laughs> I would get a really bad taste of uh, cotton candy. Yeah. Yep, not a fan. Uh, a well, you probably should have just bought one and like 
spread it across. Yeah, pass it around. Well, because my plan was, hey, everybody, we're getting a Coke. It's a new flavor. We're going to all taste it. And then when we like it, we're going to see what alcohol would go good with it. But we all just took three sips. And everybody's like, mm. Nope. How do you feel about it, dear? I mean, you could probably still use it as a mixture because it's got that sweet. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a soda. So what you, you think, darling? probably still mix it with something. We, like a rum or something. We picked it up. I was looking at the ingredients, and none of the ingredients looked any different from regular Coke, which is what made me question, like, what the fuck is in it that makes it taste different? What do you think about the I taste? I seen it had a different tint. That's what it was like. I was yeah, like, it looks that red. That threw me off, yeah. too. It's red. Yeah. It is red. Sure. Yeah. So, what are your like, thoughts? What they fucking diluted the Coke? I mean, I don't already don't like Coke. You know yeah. that, sir. So. I'm a Coke drinker, so I, I just... <laughs> I do the. I like the cherry coke. Sorry, it's hitting us. I like the lemon coke. I like the fucking. I don't like vanilla the coke. orange coke or the vanilla coke. No, the vanilla cherry. Yeah, that's the only hmm. ones I don't fuck with. And you can Cream. add that to the list. And the cinnamon one. That's just stupid. I got the cinnamon one. I tasted the cinnamon one. I didn't taste the difference. I got it by accident. And I immediately <laughs> tasted the difference. I was like, "Why is my coke spicy?" <laughs> <Did> <laughs> Who put tobacco the, um, in my coke? <laughs> the coffee one. Nah, nah, I, I haven't come across it yet, though. I tried it. It, it was pretty good. I, okay. It wasn't too bad. Yo, how do you feel about the flavor? I don't like it. No? It's trash. Cool. Yep. <laughs> how do you feel? Trash. Okay. All right. Joe's just happy he didn't. Who's this man? Wait, what? Joe's being petty. <laughs> look at look at the eyebrows right now. <laughs> That's how you know he's being petty. I have to care to be petty. He said, do I get to drink it even though I didn't pay for it? <laughs> God forbid, Joe. Anyway, so a uh, six-year-old <laughs> as grown woman. Stupid face. It's something one of y'all sent. Oh it's yeah, the... yeah, yeah. No, nah, no. Nah. This one. Um, apparently, somebody adopted a six-year-old girl. So they thought. I think I read about this, <laughs> and she was actually just a little person. Uh, posing as a six year old girl. <laughs> that bitch on wish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was yeah. that movie that was pretty much the the orphan? orphan. Yeah. 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 And uh, basically, that was real life orphan shit. Like, she was fucking. <clears throat> what they said, Wood gave it away. Was they went like, to go uh, bathe her and she had pubic hair. Yeah. Yeah. Pubic hair and a menstrual cycle. Wow. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Uh, that's weird. She probably make sure you and, shave that thing and you, uh, let somebody bathe you. They can't prove. That she's an older woman. The parents are facing charges of child neglect. Hmm. Because they got her an apartment and fucking left her there. Wow. And now the the story's turning to where it's like, are the parents disturbed and just left the fucking six-year-old child to fend for itself after they legally adopted her? Or is this person actually an adult pretending to be a child? I feel like it it's gets the first deeper one. the longer you look at it. Yeah, like, I feel like it's the first one. I don't feel like there's a six year old child out there with a menstrual cycle and fucking pubic hair. Yeah, I don't think like, so. I've I've heard of girls starting puberty early, but not that fucking early. <laughs> not that fucking <laughs> like, but you just learned how to walk four years ago. What the fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's um that I've I've heard about that, and that that's where it kind of started throwing me off. I gotta f- see if I can find the podcast that it was on. I'll send it to you. They would like got real deep into detail about it, and that was one of the things was it was like that in that co- whatever country it was, she's facing like charges. Yeah, it's not in America. They're facing charges, and uh, yeah, that's fucking crazy. What are you doing? That situation? <laughs> I'm boxing you. First things first. Yep. Yep. <laughs> gotta beat your ass. All done. I'll definitely one. get you out my house. I'm gonna still do it. With, I'm gonna still do it with a melt though, just in case. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just in case. So it was a six year old. <laughs> How does, right yeah. <laughs> How does oh. it cry? How does it cry? Right. Does it go for a bottle of wine and some chocolate ice cream? Or... <laughs> does it cry for just, a bottle? <laughs> I've just had a day. <laughs> Goes to the backyard, and... fucking lights up one of her dad's cigarettes. <laughs> like, well, I tell you. Calls it a square. <laughs> <laughs> and the next thing you know, it's like, all right, honey, come on in. Let's get something to eat. Oh, is it time for supper? Who the fuck says supper? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've always, I, I remember hearing that story and just, because they marketed it, like when I first read about it, they were talking about it as like, y'all remember that movie, The Orphan? <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> well, ta-da, nigga. Shit happened, fam. <laughs> Tupac! <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can even see it. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, so what the fuck else happened this week? Not much. It was a pretty boring week, guys. Lady watch. Oh, lady catching ba- beads from stretcher. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did anyone yeah. actually read what happened to her? No. What happened to her? I don't know. Oh, okay, no. That's yeah, more I what just, I was getting at. I just seen the article and I seen a lady on a fucking stretcher wearing a neck brace with EMS with her catching, catching beads. fucking beads oh, in a parade. Hit it for that woman one time. Absolutely fucking Lulu. Oh, can you imagine if it was the Irish Italian parade? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> they had to peg that bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I loved uh, last week when we did the do's and don'ts of Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is... Tuesday. How do y'all feel about that though? Like the, you know, what I'm saying, is it that serious? What's that's that? that's more or less why I shared it. Like, is what serious? Is it that serious to go no. to a fucking parade? Like, bitch, you broke your neck. You're 80, and you got your, them out here on a fucking stretcher. There's no way she went out there on the stretcher. She had to be there. Something happened, and then she get carried out on the stretcher. That had to be what happened. But still, even then, EMT, like, you can't tell EMT like, "Hey, stop at Bacchus real quick." We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> Give me a shot to stop. Get me out. Let me catch a couple of bees and then load me but back still, up. Like, there's no way. <laughs> but still, like, even then, like, all right, bitch, you didn't hurt yourself at the parade that bad the way EMS is out here. Put your ass on the stretcher. And that is true. Race. Like, all right, it's time to wrap it up. Let's get your ID. <laughs> get your old ass back home. No, nah, she's sitting there like, fuck. That bitch, I'm winning. I'm, ah, right, I'm nine out. tequila shots in. <laughs> Send Granny home. Someone made a point. <laughs> they were that? like, you got to catch them regardless, because if not, they're just going to plop you in the face. That is true. <laughs> so she might have just people been trying were, to save herself. People were probably throwing them at her. <laughs> like, Look at the bitch in the fucking stretcher. Hit her. Hit her. <laughs> Get the football. Get the football. <laughs> Who got the spear? Somebody got the spear. <laughs> <laughs> Bet y'all can hit our IV bag from here. <laughs> Watch me put it in the bone. Watch me put it in the bone. bone. <laughs> it's in the bone. It's in the, it's in in the, the bone. bone. <laughs> she probably did look at the What are you doing? Throw me a spear. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Is there anything going on? Oh, you know what? Before we move on, I do. I, 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 are y'all doing anything for Mardi Gras, first of all? No. I didn't even know it was I'm Tuesday. gonna be <laughs> at work, so you better not you don't get come off? with your shit. You no, I fucking don't. <laughs> I'ma be deep in that bitch till nine o'clock on the dock. You know I ain't never gonna stop. It's just my fucking job. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Let that man get his shit on real quick. <laughs> He ain't dropped the mixtape in a while. He got it pent up in him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got to work too. You got to work? Yeah. I got to work too. (laughs) Nick? I am taking the day off. Nick, 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 Nick. Are you off on that day or you have to take a day? No, I have to take a day. It's not recognized. It's not recognized. I'm probably going to bring my laptop home, but chances are I'll probably just not work and cut the losses. Because... I don't want to fight that traffic on Mm -mm. Metarita just to go to work. So it's kind of like... Nah. No, because I remember one of my old jobs, <clears throat> they didn't recognize, like every other job I've worked for, they've recognized it as a holiday. For some reason here, <clears throat> this well, my old job, they did not. I get it. They're based out of Cleveland. They don't understand. Whatever. It's a very loud plane. The thing was, they'd had- It's a- the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking Russians. And they got three arms. <laughs> Shut up. <all. laughs> um, but they fucking- but, one one year they were telling me they were like, "Oh, Scott, you live in New Orleans." They were like, "You're the closest to these hospitals, so how about you know you go drop this stuff off at the hospital for us?" And for me to respond to them, you got me fucked. You up. realize this shit's gonna take two hours, right? Three hours max. And they were like, well, "What's the problem?" I'm like, "It's Mardi Gras." <laughs> and they were like, "Well, you know." There's no surgeries for that day. Like, it's literally just going to be you dropping something off. And I'm like, no, I hear what you're saying. I don't think you understand. <laughs> well, somebody has to do it. And I'm like, all right, bet. You got it. From that day forward, after I finally got the job done, they were like, all right, so maybe on Mardi Gras day, we don't have anybody doing anything. If anything's important, we'll have them do it later that night. I'm like, that could be worse, but I feel you. Yep. <laughs> 
So that's all I'm gonna be regretting is the traffic driving home, and everybody's like, "What is this nine o'clock? You got how many traffic?" It's also what? fucking Mardi Gras, and people don't know the sense of time after three mm. bottles of tequila. No, <laughs> tell him, tell him, Joe. So, I, I literally threw up in my own purse. <laughs> 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 yeah, I gotta go to the fucking sheriff on Tuesday too. Oof, yeah. you're not gonna be able to leave. But... I'm about to see. You might as well get your room, right? <laughs> <laughs> on that company call. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Because what I love even better is that people are like, they are very quick to just be like, you know what, well, Mardi Gras, we're going to go ahead and y'all going to come to work. And it's like, all right, be there eventually. Right. <laughs> like tomorrow's Lundy Gras. I'm already terrified of what the traffic is going to fucking look like. I ain't going nowhere in neither city. I'm West Bank bound all Monday tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-mm. Going to West Bank. Where you going? Yeah, I got to go in that shit tomorrow too. Smell like sage in his bitch. <laughs> My bad, cuz. So a ninth grader <laughs> was arrested. <laughs> I read this shit. For trying to kill her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> With a hitman, nigga. With a hitman. I just trying to kill her ex-boyfriend. This bitch put a hit she out on this nigga. Tried to hire a hitman to kill her ex. <laughs> Is that the bitch that went on the website? Yes. Yes. Joe, tell him what website it was. I don't know. I just heard about it. Hire a hitman. <laughs> 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 stupid ass ninth grader. That oh supposed, that man, probably supposed to be a senior. Stupid ass. He probably <laughs> broke. He probably broke up with Jenny. That's what it was. <laughs> she thought she couldn't live without him, so she's gonna kill him. <laughs> she went to hire a hitman dot com, and apparent. And I went and I checked it out. They have a form for you to fill out, and apparently she filled that shit out. They called her. It's it's joke website, but they called her and they were just like, mm, like. Excuse me, FBI. We're getting vibes that she meant to do this. <laughs> like, was serious. And then the FBI went to her high school and arrested her. So her fucking attorney is losing his goddamn mind. And he's just like, she is a ninth grader. They arrested her for no real reason. That website should be investigated for entrapment. Entrapment is a fun word. I love when people use that word. Where it's just like, you entrapped us. No, not one person made you go on that goddamn website and fill out that form. <laughs> you did that on your own volition. And then when they called you being funny, you were the one that was just like, no, seriously. So, like, how can you, like, could you cut them up, like, in a little piece? Or, <laughs> or could you, like, could, is there any way you can cut cut his dick off and shove Tupac! <laughs> cut his dick off <laughs> and shove it in his mouth. <laughs> so, how? Thought, Have you not seen any movie ever? No, right. When, when did you have to fill out a fucking form to get somebody killed? When? If anything, you want that shit to be paperless as fuck. Facts. What I love even better is the fact that before the FBI got involved, she was probably telling one of her little girlfriends and shit, just like, no, I like, I just went on hireahitman.com. And they were like, Heather, that sounds fake. No. <laughs> it's totally legit. It's totally legit, I'll, bitch. I'll the reviews. <laughs> they have reviews on the website. Too. It, was, it was only a fifty dollar application fee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't have to pay him money. Until they said they're it's gonna. Done. Yeah, they said they're gonna pay. They're gonna make me pay him after. He does it pro bono. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, as a jazz, too. <laughs> Do not collect two hundred dollars. So, uh, do y'all it. think that it was a good idea to arrest her? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 You fucking right. You got to learn your lesson somehow. You dumb bitch. <laughs> even, even if they don't arrest you for trying to get. And no, I'm killed. not sorry for calling a child a dumb bitch because she is. <laughs> Damn it. A dumb bitch is dumb. Can you please fix Tupac? Tupac. I'm literally about. No, I was just making sure. Just fucking with the white women. But anyway. Shut me down. Well, yeah, baby. Even, even if you don't. Come his ass across the fucking room. Wow. But big, he's. Out on bail, fresh out of jail. Who's this man? <laughs> but yeah, even if they don't arrest her for trying to get somebody killed, like arrest her for being stupid. <laughs> yeah, like I'm not Facts. saying you got a sentence her, but get the fuck out of. Her. Yeah, I definitely think that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, she probably gonna get probation or something. Like, yeah, she probably gonna get some like light juvenile shit because, like you said, she's a fucking ninth grade. You know what I'm saying? If anything, they not gonna take it that hard on her, but they definitely gonna make a point. Right. You know they saying? definitely need to, because I mean, regardless of how you look at it, she was literally trying to hire somebody to, to kill murder somebody. them. Yeah, absolutely. So she's definitely not all there, right? I, what I do want right. to know is what he did to her, right? He probably, Facts. Just, he probably just broke up with that bitch. You know, these women be crazy. That was nuts. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you. <laughs> I was waiting to hear Nikki respond. I yeah. mean, most guys that call women crazy do the shit to make them crazy. Well, and duh. Call them crazy. That sounds like a terrible way of looking at red shit. flags red flags everywhere. how much you take how, how much you take responsibility for the crazy shit you do <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my, that was my thought process for a second as she said that where it was just like yeah y'all do the shit to make us crazy i'm like hmm that doesn't sound like a good enough excuse to me <laughs> i mean scott continuously does the same shit over and over that i tell him not to do what happens we get in a fight she over hits it. me shit happens how much and you I go, why don't you just stop doing the fucking shit you stop crazy. telling my guy stuff joe continues to be Fucking Joe. I ain't got to sleep with you at night. I don't care. I never said you have to sleep with you. So, Joe, you're being How's a everything dick today. Well. God damn. <laughs> you know, it's good. <laughs> Wait, but I wanted to talk about something that we talked about God on the Tupac! last... Um, <laughs> he's at the bad place. <laughs> he is in the bad place. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why don't you turn this over and put him on stage? Oh, yay. Tupac, Tell him. Tupac, Tupac, <laughs> Well, I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. <laughs> so some of the stuff... What, we, son? Some of the stuff we were hitting on last week about Mardi Gras, I just found an article. So, for one, a woman fell off of a float on Saturday. <laughs> I told you not to do it. You Dur- did it anyway. During the crew of Tux. And then she was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition. Number two, a police officer was hit by a float a few blocks down on Notre Dame. Bro, you don't want to supposed to notice shit. He was <laughs> not injured, but was taken to the hospital as a precaution. Oh, yeah. and oh shit. <laughs> number three. Out there falling like Shaq. <laughs> get back, get back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> NOLA EMS has reported that a man was transported to the UMC Trauma Center after a parade tractor ran over his leg. Son of a Ow, bitch. Near Canal Street and North Roman. Hit that green button for me. During Endymion. How much you want to bet he was crossing Boom the street man. like he told y'all tore his ass is not to fucking do. Just and don't he's go got... That fast. That's I do. That's that's what gets me more than it. anything else. You seem so stressed out. Like I fucking nobody can't hold it. That always reminds me of Deadpool. Like every that's time my I point. Nigga. Every Damn. time I hear somebody getting run like over you're by that drunk. I'm it's sorry. Just... Every time I think about it, I think about that Deadpool scene where it's just like <laughs> you're about to get killed by a Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there in about five minutes. <laughs> 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 and that's how fast the fucking floats move. They did not go that fast. I yo. could see him like bending down on the street to pick something up, like a bead on the ground that's covered in oh, feces of God. some sort, and then not paying attention to truck just ran. I picked up a bottle one time on the side of the <laughs> parade route. It was a full bottle of vodka, and then I picked it up and it was tinted yellow. Wow. And I went, you. <laughs> 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 but. Yeah, man, that's part of what we were trying to get across last week was it's just like I love watching people do the stupid shit that they do. And then we just sit here and go, hmm, told you, <laughs> told you. But uh, we did start watching Bel Air. Yeah. You said you watched it. Yo, you caught I'm up? All, I'm all the way caught up. You yeah, caught up? Yeah, yeah, I'm all the way caught up. What is it, five five episodes right now? Yeah, it's five episodes right now. Yeah, and I'm uh, we're, we're half about halfway through the second episode. Correct. Yep. Did y'all so. see the uh, the locker room scene yet? Yes. Yes. Oh, with the, the Bobby Schmurda, hot boy, uh huh, hot dude, hot nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's true that I'm a hot nigga. What's funny uh, is, I, and that's no, his, have you watched it at all, Nikki? Niggerly. You know, y'all can say all <laughs> the talk y'all want. I can almost guarantee that word is not coming out of my mouth, especially when being recorded. <laughs> hey. But if it's not, recorded. you just heard a lie. She said she'll say it. <laughs> So my question was, uh, number one, Joe, have you watched any of it? No. No, of course you haven't. <laughs> I um, saw the locker room scene. You did? Yeah, it's her to call me in the room. <laughs> of course. Especially because like, it wasn't so much just that he was like rapping along with it and saying the N-word. It was Carlton in the middle of the circle... Just dancing like nobody's watching. <laughs> while, while this white dude is rapping that song, not just rapping it with the N word, but rapping it with the N word, almost like they told him, just do it as white as you can. Yep. Hyping yep. white people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I don't know. So, first of all, how do you feel about the show as a whole so far? I Because you're completely caught up. What are your thoughts? I think it's a great remake rendition. 
if you're going into it expecting the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you're watching the wrong show. It's a great reimagining. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Uh, I, I can't even call it like yeah, like you said. It, it's more of a reimagining than a remake. Kind of how Light Burn, Light Burn, Bright Burn, Bright Burn. Yeah, Light the Burn Superman. is the program that I use for my laser. <laughs> Bright Burn was a reimagining of the origin story of Superman. Yeah, where it was more of a horror movie than anything else. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of what you get when you get Bella. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And it's it's really really good how they develop the characters and um, how they they. I, I was mentioning to y'all before we started recording how they take all of the characters that you've pretty much ever seen in The Fresh Prince mm-hmm. and they involve them in the show to just help build the story. Like, you more or less get Will's life story in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air episode by episode. Yes. Where they have to bring all of these characters in to, you know, show you who this character is that's about to be leading you on through the series. So yeah. I thought that was pretty good. I love the Easter eggs. Yes. The yes. Easter eggs are fantastic. Small shit, man. Fantastic. Small <clears throat> shit, but it's so nostalgic. Yeah, man. And it's like, because you could tell, like, essentially what this is, is this is the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air in an alternate universe. Yep. Where it's not all happy-go-lucky, fat Uncle Phil jokes. Yeah. It's yep. uh, dark. Uncle Phil, Uncle Phil will probably steal your bitch. In I this, was in about this episode. <laughs> In these episodes, Uncle Phil will definitely steal your you bitch. Talking about, you, talking about, <laughs> you talking about Uncle Yummy? Nah, I did this thing. <laughs> That, that's what I was going to be my delicious. top thing. I am about to say, Uncle Phil is a hell of a lot nicer to look at. Call another grown man delicious. That man was delicious looking. <laughs> he is, he's very yummy. Hey, yo, delicious. <laughs> but what I did love was, uh, man, I don't want to ruin, uh, Joe, do you ever plan on watching this? Sure. Eventually. I, uh, I don't want to ruin too much, but if you do ever get a chance to watch it, just definitely keep your eyes. Going. I tell people, especially like, now this is my, my biggest beef with the show and it's probably just me being picky. Go for it. Uh, and it's honestly not that big of a deal. I find that the Uncle Phil reminds me too much of um, Tay Diggs' character from All American. Oh wow! Yeah, like even there, like even the way he speaks, like he sounds just like Tay Diggs. They uh, I actually saw. A so comment. if you do like All American and you're trying to like not picture the Fresh Prince in your head, it's basically a basketball version of All American. Yeah, uh, I saw. Like instead of taking the kid from out of Crenshaw and bringing him to Beverly Hills to play football, they're taking him out of Philly to bring him to Beverly. I saw uh, a to comment. Bel Air to play basketball. I saw a comment where somebody said, uh, "Yeah, this this show is basically a mixture of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air and All American." Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And I don't mind it because I love All-American. All-American is my shit. As of right now, like I said, we're only on episode one and a half. Um, One and a half. Yep. (laughs) So two episodes in. Uh, So I can't speak for Nikki, obviously, but my review of the show is it is good. It is intriguing. You want to see what's going to happen next. But if I didn't know... That this was a reimagining of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I probably wouldn't watch it. Just because it's not like your type of show. Mm. Yeah. It was. It's cool. You know, because you don't you don't watch it like Empire and shit like that. Empire was a little too PG for me. Mm-hmm. If we're being completely, do you watch wrong. All American? I've watched yeah. some of it. See, so, yeah, yeah, you just it's just not your type of show. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's good. But I see, I watch it like that. That's why I like the show. I Even thought Empire like that, was corny. I can take, I can take the Fresh Prince of Bel Air out of the the show and be like, yeah, I'd watch this. Nah, like, I don't think so. I would definitely watch yeah, it as yeah. like a um, uh, one of the shows. One just of your Ben shows. Yeah, definitely a Ben show. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because sure. uh, and they're nice to look at. Although Will, he has like his eyes sunken in, and it just I keep looking at it weird because it just obviously Will Smith was a lot more attractive. <laughs> And I have I a hard time thinking of him Will's as a tough guy. Eyes, yeah, and he just comes off weird. I mean, I never thought he was the Fresh Prince as a tough guy. Well, here's what's funny. <laughs> like, I don't think he was tough in the Fresh it's, Prince. It's a, it's, a, it's a switch off because in Bel Air, mm-hmm. he is kind of a tough guy. He just doesn't look like one. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, he fights. He punched fucking one of the big. I mean, I fight people too, but I ain't no tough guy. I mean, that depends on your definition of tough guy. So what I'm yeah. saying is, it's just like, you know, he's the one that walked up fucking. And even Trey. Ice tray in the fresh in the fresh prince. Uh, he said uh, he was like, "Why, dude? It's been three hours. Why are you still thinking about this?" And he's like, "Because if I ain't got respect in my hood, fuck a scholarship." You know this and, that? and then like he walks up, balls the dude to death, and then I don't think that's being the a biggest... tough guy. That's just being cocky. 
But then punches, like the, big, nigga me, punches was, the biggest drug dealer in Philly in the fucking face. Because if a nigga tell me come battling four hours from now and want some sparky shit, I'm gonna just I'm gonna still go battling four hours from now. I don't give a fuck who the fuck you are. What is that? And then he tells <laughs> don't the make white, me no tough guy. He tells the white dude, what, tells you what, tells the, also not a bitch. Tells the white dude, watch your mouth or what, or I'll watch it for you. Like, you know, just shit like that. Well, you're not invited to Connor's party tonight. I don't give a fuck about that party. Like, you know, just shit like that. So it's like, I mean, tough guy might not be the right word, but it's also just like, that's not not tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, he carries himself like, you know, this, that's not the film. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's the definition of a tough guy. Well, we have different definitions. Definition of somebody but taking no on shit. the flip side, <laughs> but then on the flip side, will look like and talk like he could fight in the Fresh Prince. And every fight he gets into in that show, he gets beat up. Yeah. Every single one. He didn't win one fight in the first. Yeah. Carlton, Carlton's hands were stuck to his head because he had glue in his shampoo bottle and he elbowed him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Will went down. I just remember Carlton. There's more where that came from. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then uh, the, the dude outside, like he told like he told him something, he like got all like all this and that. The dude just hit him one time and he turned around and looked at Carlton and fell. <laughs> he got his ass kicked in every fucking episode. But I did love like like you said, like the little things, like the little pieces of nostalgia. Mm-hmm. He's on the plane ride and like mm-hmm. the, the camera pans around him and like he's looking out the window all sad. Mm-hmm. And then as it gets like just the right angle, you see he's got a champagne glass with orange juice in it sitting on the little table. Mm-hmm. It's like I remember. Mm-hmm. Oh, when he does the jacket flip? I didn't see the jacket flip yet. That's going to be iconic. Of course. I was waiting on that. <laughs> but then it was like, even when he meets Jazz in the car yep. on the ride, yep. dice in the mirror. Yep. And then I, uh, one that I've did, I had to watch it because uh, I watched the first episode without her. But then as I'm uh, watching it again with her, uh, <laughs> when they pull over on the side and they both get out the car and they're just looking at the Bel Air skyline or the Los Angeles skyline. Mm-hmm. And he, Jazz even says to him, he was just like, you know, I just got one piece of advice for you. Don't ever let this place get the best of you. It will make you forget who you are and where you came from. And in the first episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Will says that to Uncle Phil. I don't know whether it was the uh, Prince or whether it was Princeton at the office, but you became soft. You forgot who you are and where you came came from. from. So it's like just a little shit like that. Like that definitely as I'm watching, I'm just like, damn. Or how they reinvented the handshake. Yes. How they modernized it. Of course. They had to. They had to. Snap. Which is stupid. I think they should have kept the... Nah, that shit was mad 90s. <laughs> if I'd have seen a nigga do that, I'd be like, get the corny ass the fuck out of here. Speaking of corny... <clears throat> oh, you got some pictures of yourself? Yeah. Oh. This is me. No, <laughs> um, no. But <laughs> it's just a bunch of fucking modeling pictures of him in outfits Nicole picked up for him. <laughs> <laughs> Those were great. Fucking turtle, fucking turtle neck. <laughs> But Bow Wow fired you, back like Steve Jobs, bitch. <laughs> after being included on a list of corny celebs. Do y'all find Bow Wow corny? No. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The answer is yes. Absolutely. I feel like him, Nick Cannon, cornballs. Like, after after he did that uh, shorty like mine track, that's when he should have retired. Because after that, it's, it just made his fucking career go. Yeah. So, Everybody's wow. like, how could you say Bow Wow was had a down spiral career? Nigga, when the last time he was like, yo, let me put on that new Bow Wow? <laughs> I don't think anybody's even arguing. He you might right. have a career as an actor and like a himself. celebrity. Yeah. He like did but that. As far as like corny niggas who fell off in the rap game, he's one of them. Sorry. When have you ever heard somebody say put that new Bow Wow on? The only time I've 2005? ever. 2005? Ever. No. I just, I just, I just kind of heard it. You know, it, it was just kind of there. He had one song. Yeah, nigga, that fresh as I'm is, boy, you ain't right, you ain't right. You ain't oh, moving like a moment. You ain't saying no. You, you ain't fresh as I'm is. You ain't big, big, whippy, steady, tip, tipping, no gas. Yeah, that was my shit. Uh, I did. I it wasn't that hot, but, or like, I mean, popular. But uh, he did one song with Wayne called Sweat. Yep. That joint was fire. It was all right. Mostly because of Wayne's verse. Yep. (laughs) Yes. But uh, earlier this week, and uh, my source right now is Complex, uh, Instagram Critics of Culture shared a viral meme titled, Why Are These People on the List Considered Corny? And the post included photos of celebrity like Drake, Will Smith, Nick Cannon, Logic, Wayne Brady, and Bow Wow. Joe, thoughts? 
fine now. Only, um, only nigga on that list that's corny, bro. <laughs> I think all them niggas corny besides what's Smith. Yeah? Yeah. Why you think Wayne Brady corny? Yeah. <coughs> he makes... <laughs> he makes Brian Gumbel look like Malcolm X. <laughs> I make Brian Gumbel look like Malcolm X. Huh, motherfucker? <laughs> After that one skit alone, man, you can't call Wayne Brainy corny. Give nah, me, give me some. I'll buy to... <laughs> give, hey, give me some. <laughs> 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 the Joker, Joker bitch. bitch. I was about to do it. I was about to do it. God damn it. Wait, what? Ben Franklin's lonely. Benjamin Franklin's lonely. Is, is Wayne Brady going to have to choke Joker a bitch? bitch? I got to get out of my car. I try to be a nice guy. <laughs> my mother's do you know what the hell we're talking about? Okay, cool. All right. It took me a second, but then I was like, oh, wait. I remember. <laughs> my mother's never going to believe this because she's never going to know about it, bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, give it up for William Brady. Fuck that. <laughs> oh shit. So and that nigga won the mad singer. Fucking right. Of course he fucking <laughs> did. You damn right he did. He got a beautiful voice. Yeah, he does. That nigga danced his ass off too. He was out there <laughs> hearing shit like he was Neo, nigga. He just do the little body shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, out of all the people on that list, do you agree? Corny? The, the uh the only one I agree with, like I said, is Bow Wow. Not Nick Cannon? No. Not Logic? Like, you don't like think Nick. Drake's corny? Nah, he light skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difference. Logic? <laughs> so you think I'm corny? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> For the millionth time! <laughs> you think Logic's corny? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot Logic was on that list. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, he's corny nigga. Yeah. How about you, babe? He can rap, but you think about, about Logic? <laughs> no, I mean about any of them. Do you think any of them are corny? Yes. Which ones? Let me run it back. All right, Drake. Bow Wow. Drake? Yeah. I like Drake. Uh, Will Smith? I mean, Big yeah. Willie style. Corny? <laughs> but not corny in a bad I feel way. like he's a goober more than he's corny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nick Cannon? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Logic? Yes. Wayne Brady? Yes. Bow Wow? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean by like corny. I just don't take them like seriously. That's like that, like corny is a word I can't even define. It's just He's like a I look, fucking cornball. I just it's look at Drake. Him, I just look at him. It's just like that's corny as fuck. Like, yeah. You a cornball? Yeah. yeah. Huh? I don't get that with Drake. I think Drake's a trendsetter. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> <That's very true. laughs> the nigga don't miss. <laughs> he don't. You've got you've got to miss a lot to be a corny nigga. And he do corny yeah. shit and don't miss. Exactly. So you can't be corny. Yes, you can't. If it don't miss, you can't be corny. If it's everything you do if is popular, that. it's no longer corny. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's just overrated. That's what it no. is. No. No, that's overrated. The heart corny and in overrated his head, is two different That things. was corny. No, 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 no. The what? The heart that he shaved into his yeah, head. Yeah, that was some That corny was corny shit. shit. That was some light skin corny shit. <laughs> Baby, the whole video is corny. Which one? Oh, he talking about he talking about Bro, you talking uh, about the one that he it, it, like yeah. intentionally made to be a meme? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like what saying, I said. Oh, this whole hot, video is a meme. That's like I saying purposely the showed bling. it to Joe to watch him get frustrated. Oh, I knew what it was gonna do. I wish you would have called me over to do that <laughs> so I could watch his head. Start that's why smoking. I shared those gifts for a year and a half. His head would have smoked. <laughs> his head would have smoked like the soldiers in fucking Chernobyl right now. Like <laughs> it was just <laughs> I'm just thinking of them sitting out there with their rifles right now. Just like, I thought it's like the middle of winter. Why is it 98 degrees? <laughs> that you niggas got here, sunburn? Man. I got sunburn. What the fuck is <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Igor, you are looking red, man. <laughs> Did you go get a tan? No, I've just been, I've just been here. The past. I think I got the coronavirus. Getting sick, man. <laughs> Fucking Omnicron, bro. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, I think corny. Whatever. Uh, after catching wind of the insulting list, Bow Wow hopped in the comments section, of course he did, to issue a lengthy defense of himself <laughs> and everyone else who was featured. And he said, because we ain't beefing with N-words. Because we ain't shooting at N-words. This corny shit got us all the bitches, though. I guess they like this corny shit. They corny lie. but got all this money. Corny because M words ain't got pending cases of taking these dumbass drugs that be having M words looking dumb and talking slow. Corny because we don't promote talk 
because we don't promote taking that shit. Corny, but all the street N words buying up my do rags and brushes and all my products. Thoughts? Unnecessary. <laughs> I feel like I he mean, does he's a lot right. of defending. <laughs> he's kind of right. He's but not wrong. He's, <laughs> he's not right. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. It's just unnecessary, if you ask me. In my opinion, my unprofessional opinion. <laughs> Fuck that. My professional opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Super unnecessary. <laughs> So like, that's, why, like why you let why you let this Instagram shit get you all gassed up? I don't understand. Uh, he said, "I'll take corny and rich over having to have a million n words with me looking over my shoulder, paranoid every day, wondering if the ops coming. Right. We can go anywhere now, we want. Your favorite rapper can't. Y'all n words is they, lost out here. Meet us at the bank. Now, if they trying to use the definition of corny is like you just not doing street shit, then that's I mean, no, that's not corny. Yeah, that's not corny. Yeah, no, that's whack." That's just, a, make, no. just making sure your dumb ass don't go to jail as a millionaire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm I was about to say, I got to... Now, after... I almost, after, dropped, after, some, I almost some NFL players' names just now. <laughs> Jeez. I want to be hard. <laughs> hard up in that cell with that lotion. But... <laughs> Looking at Victoria's Secret models. With the Down syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> but... Uh, that that did make after reading his comment that made me think like what 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 defines somebody that's a cornball? Because like I said, I can't put a definition to it. I just I look at certain shit and I'm just like, eh, I'm corny, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, my yeah, definition is light skinned niggas. Mediocre just, shit to be sometimes be corny, like you know what I'm saying? Like to me, Nick Cannon's a cornball. Like he do a lot of great shit. What 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 gives you the the cornball vibes? From I don't. Just the way he carries himself, the way he acts, the way he Yeah, no, nah, I can say that. He do some he do some fucking like his dressing be like mad goofy. His dressing's but mad goofy. I wouldn't say, that's I wouldn't call him a cornball for it. Oh, I call him a cornball for dressing like that and then taking the pictures he do. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I can call him corny for. Like you can't wear them sparkly ass shoes and then go flex like you out here. Sometimes tough. when he talks <laughs> I can't give you like any specific definite, but like sometimes when he talks, I'm just like shut up. Nick, shut up. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Nick Cannon's always just been a huge cornball to me, but that doesn't negate the fact that that motherfucker has M's on top of M's on top of M's on top of M's, and everything that he touches is successful in one way or the other. So, I mean, yeah. I guess it's cool to be corny. Sure. Hit it for him one time. Uh, That's why I don't think he's corny, just because he got, he do everything and is successful. I mean, I feel like Nick Cannon circa What's Love Got to Do With It. That was a corny nigga. <laughs> Bill Gates that is corny. Is, that nigga's, but yeah, Bill Gates, Bill Gates is a corny motherfucker. <laughs> he is a corny motherfucker. From the way he dressed to the way he talked, the way he interacted with people, that's a corny ass nigga. Um, Elon Musk says SpaceX will rescue ISS against Russian sabotage. First things first. I'm the realist. Do any of y'all know what the fuck that means? No. No. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> All I just heard was Elon Musk say the Iron Man suit is coming <laughs> soon. I'm telling you, Jeff Bezos is going to show up in the Lex Luthor power suit. I don't think so. It's going to be the DC Marvel crossover we've all been waiting for. I think we're going to be <laughs> sitting there watching, and then out of nowhere, like they're going to have cameras showing like Elon Musk and his band of Iron Man. Fucking attacking the Russians, and then out of nowhere, doors are gonna open up. Putin's gonna walk out with Jeff Bezos. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like, on a Whoa. Wakanda ship. <laughs> niggas gonna come in on a Wakanda ship. <laughs> oh, you thought it was just a movie prop? Nah, nigga. <laughs> Bezos let us hold this for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think we did this shit? <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's about it. I just think that uh, this is the moment that Elon Musk is really just sitting there every night watching the news and then looking over at his Iron Man suit. And he's just like, <laughs> any day now, they call him. Should I? Maybe not yet. Not yet. It's, not, it's, not that bad. it's not that time. It's not that time. It's not that time. Not that time. And then one day he's gonna be like, I can't fucking take it. Anymore. And it's like, uh, are you that worried about Ukraine? No, I want to fucking play with it. <laughs> in person with people. I can only do donuts in the fucking desert for so long. You know what? Go get my forklift. <laughs> Drop a billion dollars on this motherfucker. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, Sean Penn. I don't care. Um, that's your boy that got got stuck over in Ukraine, huh? Yeah, Sean Penn yeah. got stuck in the Ukraine doing a documentary. 
Boy, if he make it out, that shit gonna be popping. <laughs> what? That fucking, that fucking documentary gonna hit. Production team ain't tell him shit either. They was like, shit, he's trying to get paid. For real. All got, all <laughs> they got, got the notification about the war, and they was like, somebody go throw that away. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Bro, look, it's not that. All we got to do is survive. We were showing Penn. <laughs> the odds are good. He gonna pay for everything. Right. <laughs> right. Just so, survive. Apparently, the thing with Elon Musk is internet service. That's that's what SpaceX's internet service is available in Ukraine. So he he pretty much they got Facebook gave now? them internet access is what I'm gathering. I'm Elon so Musk is helping times. Ukraine connect to the internet during Russia's. Oh, stuff. because they because the Russia's probably attacked uh, the Ukraine satellites. Well, the tanks off. are just knocking shit over. That's just shooting random stuff. bullets <laughs> into <laughs> space, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Did it hit? Nope. Shoot another one. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. So now we know. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Internet satellite internet service. That's that's S I S. I thought he'd be making them TikTok and shit. <laughs> so Kyle written out. He going out there? No. <laughs> no. He's weirdly I don't know, quiet. Mr. Fucking Hero. Yeah, go out there. <laughs> I heard you like to stop some shit. You got some friends in the Ukraine <laughs> that need their business protected? Oh, man. Fuck well, no. Nope. They need a lot of protection. Take your bitch ass out there. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's not going to Ukraine to fight. He's suing. He's suing LeBron James. He is suing Joe Biden. He is suing Whoopi, Go- Whoopi Goldberg. And he's suing Joe Biden, in case you didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> and he is suing them because... They defamated his character while he was on trial, calling him a murderer, Same calling him a white supremacist, crying. calling him all kinds of crazy shit. And now, apparently, he's suing. You embarrass yourself. I say let him do it. I think he's going to win type some of, of them. No. I think he will. No. The type of money he got for his lawyers mm-hmm. is not the type of money LeBron, Oprah, and Joe Biden got for their lawyers. You're not lying. You can't touch Oprah, son. You not. You can't touch you, Oprah. You're going to lose that one as soon as you walk in the courtroom. They're going to be like, nah, <laughs> him? Shit, nigga, Oprah in favor. <laughs> Oprah. LeBron? King James? I'm very what? curious to see they about how- to call. They about to have fucking black lawyers from Africa coming in like, I would defend LeBron. <laughs> right. I would. Wherever, they had a, wherever, they had a, wherever they had a trial at or whatever like that, LeBron is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to get traded to your team and win your championship. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Fuck this little kid, man. <laughs> He's stupid. I am very curious to see how it goes because there was some defaming of character. <laughs> defaming well, of character. I'm going there. Which, now we can't say, we can't do that because not too long ago we had the conversation about Cardi B. About what? About how she sued the motherfucker that was talking shit about her and won. And well, we gave her her roses. Right. That's because the motherfucker who talking shit about her was in Kyle Rittenhouse shoes. Do What? Because the motherfucker talking shit about her was in Kyle Rittenhouse's shoes. How so? She a civilian too. Who? The bitch she sued. The bitch she sued for talking shit. Uh huh. She's a YouTuber. So you I'm a civilian just... bitch? You ain't that famous. <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse is just as famous as that YouTuber. I guarantee you. Mm. And he not getting paid for it. I don't know. He don't running know. off of mommy and daddy money, he thinking is. he got them white parents that's bucking Turtle. his head up. Sue them black people. Turtle, they gonna pay a, you. Turtle, he's a hero. To who? To his white friend's store that he say that's it. <laughs> to Dustin Spencer. <laughs> to, oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <And all laughs> look, at, the, look at your face. <laughs> and all the other MAGA hat wearers. That's who the fuck he a hero to. Tell me I'm lying. But no, here's my thing. That boy can suck a dick and die. Can we talk about respectfully? This? Can we talk about this? <laughs> can we talk about this? We we we've had this probably same conversation a couple of weeks straight now. Why do y'all are y'all? Well, I'm not gonna look at y'all. Why are y'all still going so top show with you? Hero? He's a, he's a hero? <laughs> For what? Because he shot he shot a, a a convicted pedophile that he didn't know was, was a, a convicted, convicted pedophile. pedophile. Yeah, right. That was right. Like, all I know is he's getting chased, and he turned around and started bucking. Right. Like any of us would have done. Right. <laughs> like, and if that's y'all hero, that's sad because that boy's a bitch. You didn't see him crying in the facts. courtroom? That boy pussy. Big Fuck old out pussy. Of here. How you, how you going to be out here protecting and shooting motherfuckers, then, then they threaten to throw you in jail, now you turn pussy? Right. Now you pussy crying and shit. Yeah. Man. 
sit your little bitch ass back in the house and put that gun up. You willing, you willing, you willing to shoot and kill people, but you're not willing to fucking possibly go to jail for it? Fuck right. out of here. Fuck out of here, man. No, apparently he was crying because of the weight of everything that he had to do. Man, <laughs> weight these nuts on your face. Oh, nigga. okay. <laughs> Fuck you're crying for the weight, then now you're putting more weight on yourself trying to fucking sue the president? Right. I want him to sue the right. president just because I want to see that go to court. Right. I want to see it on TV. Open and already bought the whole jury of fucking they own fucking cities. <laughs> right. <laughs> they all sat down. Oh <laughs> shit, can you fucking up? <laughs> they Everybody look under your seats right now. Right. Oh, before we get started. Oh, what do you have to say? Look under your seats. Before we get started. <laughs> Before we get started, before, you know, first of all, welcome everybody. Welcome. Oprah, you, you got 30 seconds to address the call. I know, Your Honor. I know you, you're going to like this too. Before we even get started, everybody go ahead and look under your seats. They're all just like, what is this? It's a brand new Tesla. You get a Tesla. You get a Tesla. Uh, Oprah. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> this is not allowed in a good look under your seat. <laughs> Two Teslas. We know you got a wife. <laughs> School district. <laughs> everyone, <For you. laughs> everyone gets a school. A school. With a full, with a full faculty. <laughs> New courtroom. <laughs> How you feel, dear? I was just learning. Well, I mean, I already kind of knew it, but I just rethought about it. Is that she posts everything on her taxes as a donation? So the people that receive them have to pay the taxes on those objects every time. Yep. So imagine getting donated something you could not afford, and then you have to pay all that. I would just be that like, that happens just keep all the time. Yeah, that happens all the time. That's like, how they do it. Not even just Oprah. Fucking game shows. Fucking all. You think like, oh, if you win, if they win today, they get a brand new month. Like you gotta pay taxes on that shit. Yep. And like apparently that's uh that's something that like if you go on like the Reddits of like all the game shows and like all that's a big thing that people bitch about all the time is that they'll meet them backstage and they're just like so this is all of the different stuff you want are you able to pay? and like you only have like ninety days or something like that to pay for everything for it or you forfeit everything hmm. shit like that like pff, fuck you hit that eye right, so I'll keep the blender the air fryer <laughs> right. you can put the Tesla bag uh, the PlayStation. <laughs> Oh man, you know what? Just give me the million dollars. Take is, all this shit back. Is, yeah, <laughs> give me the million. Tax that. Good. Now I have seven hundred thousand dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Four hundred thousand dollars. It's been nice. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Later. Uh, <laughs> but um, speaking of just giving people money, Mr. Beast, I'll at your boys. We broke. <laughs> back to you, Scott. It's <laughs> a hell of a plug. <laughs> Uh yeah, so next week we'll do it even better, but I don't ever see a reason to uh back out of uh the money making opportunity. Uh beatstars dot com. Y'all go head over there, use the affiliate code hangover and uh yeah, get you some beats. Anyway. Um <laughs> next week it'll sound better, I promise. Quick plug. <clears throat> uh so we got anything else? Fuck. Stop showing him you nudes right now, Nikki. He's gotta focus. <laughs> Which is interesting. So I just I'm, I <laughs> so was trying to was scroll. One I wanted to show you to see <laughs> to see if there was anything else that we could talk about. And it says that Euphoria's Dominic Fike confirms Zendaya and Tom Holland's relationship. What do you mean? I thought that and was I'm, confirmed. And I'm like, well, they've, they've been they bought a house together. Like yeah. I, I think at this point we know they're dating. Public knowledge. I, I don't I don't get that that. Uh, what, did he catch him fucking or something? Like, yeah, he walked. I seen in. him sticking in. And I know for sure he's hitting. Yeah, and they were, they were <laughs> hanging from the ceiling, so I knew it was Spider Man. He apparently called their relationship sweet, and now people are like, "Ooh, he's confirming it." And it's like, I th- I feel like buying that fucking million dollar house together confirmed it. I feel like them being in the last three Spider Mans, tonguing each other down on the red carpet, has been the fucking. You know? <laughs> you thought. The way Tom Holland swerved that other chick when fucking Zadea wasn't around and when she tried to put her arm through, that was a clear sign right there. That was a great that, one. That bitch went to put her arm through his arm. That nigga, whoop, slipped oh, around yeah. and was like, where is Zendaya? Oh, I remember where that one. Where is she? <laughs> I feel like all of my little things that pop up on Instagram, like the, the reels, are always Tom and Zendaya related. I don't know why. Not that I'm complaining because they're adorable, but I'm just like, oh. I'm just saying you're obsessed. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> clearly my reels knows what's up. So, <clears throat> last thing. Uh, what time are we at? We are at an hour and 30. Right. So this might be a smaller one than normal, but... uh, That's not what she said. <laughs> yeah, well, uh... <laughs> she bet the fuck not. <laughs> Actually, I'll be right back. 
God damn it, so Scott. We're at the I end of the fucking it. show. It is literally just your wait. Just wait. It is literally just your wait. Sit down. Finish the show. God damn it, Scott. See how I'm treated in here. Uh, okay, so <laughs> you know what? That's We'd fair. just be sitting here like. So, staring at a wall, waiting so for you to just come and say, what's your social, turtle? So the soldiers in Chernobyl. Uh, <laughs> let's make some more jokes about them. Um, no, so uh, I don't know if anybody heard Mr. T.I. Oh, T.I. Yeah, to the topic. P.I.? What about it? Second dude? I said, oh, you have another topic? Yeah, as I was going to say, this is the last topic before we go. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> you wait, hold on. <laughs> wait. You thought I was about to leave and then come back and go, Mr. TRT. That's yeah. what we just said. <laughs> oh, no. I literally was talking about a new topic that I, I was like uh, literally building up to it. And then I started getting a phone yeah, call and was right. like, that's you why with, I said, That's why I said it's literally your topic. You were with the it. Okay. You to close out? Yeah. Right. Meet, meet you in the kitchen and shit? All right. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. So, how, Mr. T.I., have y'all heard what he's been doing lately? Nope. Waiting for you to tell us. <laughs> Just put hands on it, son. Put hands on it. Mid show. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 25 guesses. No, Scott. For all the listeners, all y'all about to hear is. <laughs> <laughs> so Ti has decided to try his hand at stand up comedy. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh boy. No. Oh goodness. Oh. All right. Uh, and apparently, um, well, one of his sets is actually on YouTube. You can go watch it. And uh, 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 a comment that I saw uh, perfectly summed up how I felt about the situation. T.I. is funny. He's a funny dude. Like, you're just sitting there watching him, like, talk. He's funny. The problem was, you expect more out of a comedian. Mm -hmm. And I feel like T.I., uh, the comment that I saw under the YouTube video was, this is all fun now, but after a while, he's going to start getting booze because yep. we want to hear jokes. Yep. And, like, what he's doing up there is he's going up there and he's basically just talking. Mm -hmm. And, like, every now and then he'll tell, like, a little... And like, I thought that... And, oh, <laughs> I see what you're saying, yeah. But then for the most part, it's just like, mm, whatever. So, uh, Godfrey, mm -hmm. the goat, mm -hmm. the legend, apparently T.I. followed Godfrey mm -hmm. when Godfrey was headlining a show. So Godfrey came out and uh, he said some things. Uh, first of all, how do y'all feel about T.I. being a comedian? If you're going to be a comedian, dude, you got to drop jokes. If, if you can do it, do it. But if you can't, like you said, you're going you're gonna to fucking bomb. You're going to get booed. Right. Dear? Yes. <laughs> all it made me think of when you said Godfrey is Jeffrey. And then I was thinking about Jeffrey from Bel Air. <laughs> And, <laughs> and he's delicious too. <laughs> and he is equally delicious, y'all. <laughs> he kind of gives off like um, what should we call it? The Batman, um, Alfred. Alfred vibes. Like he kind of, uh, he kind of get yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Nice looking. Okay, continue. <laughs> so, how do you feel, Turk? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't say like. Rappers shouldn't do comedy, mm -hmm. but because there are people who dabble in both worlds. But Lil Dicky, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, Childish Gambino, Childish Gambino, and he's um, great at it. Yeah, absolutely, fucking one of the goats at dabbling in both. Uh, DC Unfly, um, fuck, plenty you. more, plenty yeah, more. right. Like, but I don't know. I just don't see Ti. Like people tell me from watching the show. You should probably do stand up. I'm like, nah, I'm just funny when I talk. I've heard that. I've heard the I'm same talk, thing. I'm There's a difference. Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah, difference. I've heard the same thing. Like, why I'm have sure. you ever, Scott, why have you never tried stand up? Because it's a very big difference. It's, it's a big, it's a different animal entirely. I can barely remember my own song lyrics. When I was <laughs> <laughs> That's three minutes. <laughs> right. You imagine me trying to go for an hour and a half and remember every bit of that material? I'm sorry. So it's way that, too much. Maybe I'm just like this. Uh-huh. Let me pull out my napkin. <laughs> oh, <it>. yeah. <laughs> Airplanes, huh? <laughs> so what I basically did was I listened to uh, both sides. And apparently, um, so what Godfrey was saying was Godfrey was the headline that night at the show. And then after it was all said and done, T.I. came out and did a set. Which, according to Godfrey, is a very big no-no. 
in the comedy world. Like, if you were the headliner, you were it. It's done. It's over. And apparently T.I. came up behind him, and he was like, that's just a basic rule in the comedy world is, no, you don't go up after the headliner. There's actually people that go into comedy clubs that are more famous than the, the, the comics that are there, and they bump them off the show. And apparently, sometimes that's not such a bad thing. If the person's not being a dickhead about it, they're just like, oh, shit, a great is in the building. Yeah, I'll step out of this one and let him go. Mm-hmm. Well, apparently, T.I. just, you know, broke one of the golden rules of comedy. And uh, Godfrey had some shit to say about it. And he more or less just said, you know, it's a big no-no. He's like, I've been doing this for a long time. And he's like, you know, T.I. has not earned his stripes to go on after a headliner. And T.I. responded. And he said, bruh, I'm not your opponent. You've been doing this and how long you've been doing it. And for somebody to come on after you headline. Hey, bruh, you know how many of these comedians there is out there rapping right now? You know how many comedians there is doing rap? I've been rapping since I was eight years old, bruh. It took me probably 20 years to goddamn get where I wanted to be. You dig what I'm saying? To be honest with y'all, I don't understand a fucking word. To <laughs> 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 be honest with y'all, I just read that and it didn't even make sense in my own mind. I was like, uh, like you came out of a dark tunnel. <laughs> uh, T.I. told Godfrey that if he had taken a moment to watch his set, he would have heard him tell the crowd that he's not a comedian but a superstar. You said in your little interview, wait, hold on. You said in your little interview is you said that he's not a comedian. Hey, you taking the time to come to the stage? What you said that you not do and you should not do, but I disagree. Whatever heard my status, I said I'm not a comedian. I'm a superstar. That's different. Still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> so, how do y'all feel about Ti doing comedy? <laughs> and apparently, I mean, I feel like if you're gonna do it, you gotta expect the same respect as you would want a young rapper to come in. In you know the game, how would you feel if? You know, you invited a young nigga to come follow you around and you do a headliner show and then he come right on after you and perform his TikTok hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And take your whole crowd. You can feel you can feel a little disrespected. Yeah. Possibly. Because I in this. Possibly, yeah. I'm yeah. the guy. I remember one time when me and uh, Smurf, we went to open up for Best Believe at uh, the Eiffel. And this motherfucker tried telling us to go on stage before him. I was like, nah, nigga, you the headliner. We know once you go on, all these people leave. Yeah, you're not about to play us like that, cuz. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. And luckily, you know, D Day was there. He was the MC that night, and he was like, you know, he kind of ran to our back and was like, nah, they they got to go on before you. Yeah, straight up. That's how it goes. Yeah. Facts. People paid for a Best Believe concert. Right. I remember. Right. I remember meeting him. Yeah. I was so drunk. Yeah, it was like <laughs> ten out of ten don't recommend. It. <laughs> no, the, concert, <laughs> the concert was whack. The just the the. Well, not our shit. You know, we had to build the jumping. But hey. Best believe. <laughs> it was all right. No, that's cool. He had his fans in there, you know. Mm. I remember Black Rambo was... Oh, sorry. Trouble Man. That's Black how I know him. Yeah. <clears throat> he was in there. Opening. That's crazy to think about now. Yep. Anyway, we got anything else? Um, I got to pee. Half your army's melted. It's the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I saw something that oh. said um, <laughs> Ukraine is like agreed to talk with Russia. That's all. I don't talk know. about I, what? I, I didn't click I'm it. I'm about to say what they're going to tell them and be like, they're going to all show up in the building and just look at each other and be like, all right, y'all ready? <laughs> go fuck yourself. Just, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> just throw hands right there. Either that throw or just hands. going, you know what? We we all came together and we decided y'all can keep Chernobyl. <laughs> oh. No, no. No, it's like no, no. You touched the last. You touched the last. <laughs> Your problem now, my friend. One more thing. What you got? I feel like in this time, I don't quite understand. I think it looked up. <laughs> why Trump is still being talked about so much? Because he should be the last. You ain't know he's gonna be our president in twenty twenty four. Fucking miles right now. I don't understand. Yeah, that is I true. I don't get the obsession. You ain't know that. In 2024, no. he's going to be our president. No, it's crazy because it's like, oh, my God, <laughs> Ukraine just took Chernobyl. Oh, then, well, Trump said this. Oh, well, Trump said... Uh, tr- who the fuck cares what Trump said? He's not cares. the president. Right. Like, <laughs> stop, get, get your dick out his asshole for two I feel seconds. Like they're expect, I feel like they're expecting this to go on for that long. Like, oh, well, yeah, this is definitely still like, going to be God later in 2024. The obsession is just... <laughs> that, or they're just <laughs> that or they're waiting for Trump to put on the Iron Man suit and fly. <laughs> Lord. 
<laughs> he can't do that because he can't fit his wig underneath the helmet. He had to put the wig on top, and that's a dead giveaway. She gonna be sticking out the cracks of it and shit. No. You're gonna be like, who's that carrot? Fine. I no. I am Iron Man. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I'm saying like the pose and like the videos of like him like pushing another world leader out the way to get in the front. Like, get off his dick. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you still got another two years to deal with old Biden, so you might yeah. as well suck it the fuck up and get used to it. Until he die and Kamala take over. Right. Yeah. The thing about it is, man, we got social media now. So like that's the only difference from when we used to have shitty presidents back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I also hate this. You gotta remember line. we lived through Reagan. George Bush, senior and junior. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No I hate this idea that just because you hate Trump means that you love Biden. Like, that's not. That is a hilarious right. thing that I love. Right. Like, like <laughs> I love that. How fucking... can I just not hate both these people? Yeah. Like, how do, you, how do you love Spencer? It's just like, how do y'all feel about Biden starting World War Three? Did Biden start World War Three? Well, if you think about it, because he did it. Uh, Wasn't so, Trump. Wait, no, 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 no. So he did start World War Three. Yeah. But, so fuck him, too. Right, like, <laughs> right. That's that. That's everybody's. That's everybody was everybody's uh, uh, leaning on for the Trump didn't do this. He was friends with Putin, yeah. so that made him more sketchy. <laughs> he yeah. friends with an enemy country, nigga. Like yeah. the fuck. Good God, that don't oh, make no don't fucking like sense. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today because we'll be here all night. Yes, we talking will. about shit that we don't even fucking care about. You would, at all? How you think? <laughs> Just here it comes. Like, just saying. Do not bring up the suit Victoria's Secret model. No, 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 no. Just like, <laughs> so how do you think she would do in the Ukraine? <laughs> no, close. But I'm talking about Kanye. You know, he had the birthday party. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So what if Kanye was in office right now? Oh, God. Like you say, like you, say you need a psychopath. A psycho. You're on to something. You're you on to something. I mean? Only because imagine them getting to the White House and then Kim fucking leaving. Him. Kanye would have sent the nuke, but when it blew up, it would just been a bunch of Yeezy pop out bitch. <laughs> I disagree. Right now, it would a bunch flew. of beats. Right now, it would have flew over Russia, and then at, right before the nuke hit the ground, when the mushroom first explodes, it would just say, "Kim, take me back." <laughs> I love it. I love it. She got to take him back after that. Uh, he he gonna turn into that dude, just like, all right, so either Kim take me back or I push the button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and he was cool with Trump, so you know what I'm saying? It's he wasn't cool with Trump. He sucked his dick. That's the difference. Yeah, difference. Yeah. We're not mean, to, bro, we're not together, bro. <laughs> we're not together. Yeah, but they out here, they wish they could suck Trump's dick, so it's kind of the same Also thing. true. But that's all the time we have for today. <laughs> As always, thank you for your support. And if you enjoyed the show, please rate, 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 scat. But that's all the time we have for today. As always, thank you for your support. And if you enjoyed the show, please rate and review on iTunes, Spotify. Thank you all for everybody that has been reviewing on Spotify or wherever you listen to them right now. And also make sure we played them today so you know they're a real thing. Check out Turtle playing on his phone. Yep. So, <laughs> so you can definitely hang, head, hang, head, hang over. Head, hang over. I'm making gear. You can definitely this, head right? over. <laughs> you can definitely head over to hangoverpod.com. Com, and you can check out all the episodes. We got uh, the voicemail on there. We played them today. You can leave us some more voicemails. We'll play them on the show. We'll react, respond, or comment on whatever it is you leave us. You can see who's been on our show and what episodes they were on. If you're a fan of that person, you can check them out. Uh, Mr. TRTO. Here you can find me on IG uh, at TRTO underscore underscore. <laughs> also on TikTok under the same handle. Uh, Twitter at Too Rare to Lose. Make sure you're doing your tools right. All other social medias, T R T L. Nikki P. In I K K I underscore. Humpback, humpback. I'll check you out. Hey. Check you out. What up? What? Did you not think I would know that? No, not at all. That's how everyone spells Mississippi. Miss Nikki P. <laughs> <laughs> respect. 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 In I K. K I underscore N P is my Instagram. Average joke. L E underscore T L. Sorry. L E underscore average underscore J O B E on Instagram. Jovit nineteen on Twitter. Niggardly on my PSN. Play some PlayStation. Don't be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Crown Royal Whiskey Lemonade. Final review. Eh. If Sorry. you like lemonade. If you like lemonade, literally. Sorry. Cause I taste no Crown Royal in here. Yeah, like if you want to, like if you if you one of the people who like Mike's Hard Lemonade, you'll probably like this better. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'd Agreed. say so. I'd like that better than Mike's hard. I don't like Mike being hard. That's weird. <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah, that's balls. <clears throat> anyway, uh, but yeah, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to us at the Hangover Podcast. <laughs> the fuck? You are tongue tied today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. And on Twitter. Lemonade got him. <laughs> we got a baby that's teething, y'all. We sleep deprived. And on Twitter at the underscore hangover pod. And one more time, that is www.hangoverpod.com where you can get all of this information plus watch all of our videos. And we have merch coming soon. Merch. Mer, mer, mer. But uh, yeah, Third so Kyle Rittenhouse can sue whoever he wants, but he still looks ugly when he cries. Six year olds need to stop acting like grown ass women. <laughs> I don't care if a Victoria's Secret model has Down syndrome as long as ninth graders stop trying to murder their boyfriends on hireahitman.com. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Joe got something to say. I was just going to throw in that, like, go check out, you know, the homies, the DeGeneres podcast. You know what I'm saying? They'd be, you know, giving us shout outs and shit like that. I just want to return a favor to You're the right. You're right. Put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> It's for you guys, and I mean it with love. <laughs> Respectfully. From, from the y'all bottom there, of my heart. And while y'all sitting there listening to this episode, because I know most of y'all watch it on Monday morning, y'all are like, what the fuck did Scott just do? I'm flipping you the fuck off. Fuck you, in. <laughs> fuck you, in. <laughs> fuck you, in. <laughs> Why you bugged out behind Ian? <laughs> because Jason Momoa and Lisa Bonet are reportedly giving marriage another chance. Fuck! And, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what Bel Air does. Every chance I get at happiness, they just rip it away. First Rihanna, not Lisa. You gonna leave Ace out for so long? Let <laughs> <laughs> me come shoot shit up. What's even funnier is right I think before, it's just gonna hit me with a bullet and put me in a Dior dress. Right before <laughs> <clears throat> earlier today, we were listening to uh, what was that? Um, Plain Jane by ASAP Ferg. By ASAP Ferg, one of ASAP Rocky's best friends. Yeah. In the second verse, he says. If I see Riri, I'm going to eat it like panini. <laughs> I wonder if they have a little friction now because, it, you know what? Uh, anyway. you know I what? mean, she had to be around the whole ASAP gang. Mm. Rocky was just the more one with the paper. Yeah. Yeah, so. She knew where to go. Yeah. Right, so boom. She was like, stability. <laughs> Sexy. <Yeah. laughs> <What was that? laughs> all right. But thank you all for having a drink with us. This is the Hangover Podcast. We miss you, Riri. Thank you for listening. Bye, Rihanna. <laughs> Just woke up, couple dollars from the club, dealing with this hangover.